Hello everybody, it's November 13, Wednesday night, and we're way past 7,000, so that's amazing work. Um, I wanted to point, it, to point out, um, like somebody just mentioned me, of course, if there's a certain amount of rights owners, a seller gets, we agree, you have to shut the seller down. There's no question about that, and we've definitely seen tremendous progress. A lot of accounts have gotten reinstated, thank you, and I don't think there's been too many new accounts, but there are still quite a lot of accounts that were suspended in October. This is not about uh, sellers that received an, an enormous amount of rights owner complaints, or a lot of rights owner complaints. What I'm talking about is one of the largest accounts on Amazon shut down, I think for one or two um, rights owner complaints. They have 100,000 items. It's not even worth the conversation. A woman in Bowling Green, Kentucky, a disabled lady, she had, I think, two, two rights owner complaints. One got retracted, and the other one, they were not responded. She deleted the item, and then she's crying to me that they keep asking her for proof that she's innocent when she is innocent. She's not selling counterfeit. This is about somebody who has a dozen employees and a bunch of kids. He's on Amazon for 12 years. He has people on payroll and two Chinese patent filers filed complaints. He deleted the ASIN and he's waiting a month for an answer. This is about a couple in Tennessee that where the lady was crying that she has to go back to college and she can't pay her credit cards because the rights owner retracted but Amazon is still not reinstating. This is about a company that's actually still suspended that sent eight million dollars of inventory. Everything is in the open now. Thirty-five employees. The one company that was filing rights owner complaints, they found out that that email the person left six months ago, complete jokesters, and their complete destruction. And as of this moment, they're still suspended. So. What, what we're going to do is, um, I said at the beginning, um, this is not going to be a bash fest, and I don't think it has been. I also said I have no interest in spiking the football, and this is not going to go on and on and on. So, that being said, I want to give it one more good push. So, I posted about it, and I'm going to post again, but just to explain what we're going to do now, tomorrow, Thursday at 5 p.m. Now, if you're in Europe, or in Russia, or in Poland, very easy to find out what time 5 o'clock Eastern is on the internet. If, you, if you're not up then, you could do it at 4 or 3. The timing is not so important, but the main thing is that it gets done. There's two things that you need you to do, please. First of all, on your WhatsApp status, please update important Amazon sellers sign this petition. And that gets, one person can get hundreds of signatures. So. Everybody, tomorrow at 5 o'clock, please update your WhatsApp status to important Amazon sellers. Please sign this petition. And then more importantly, we're going to do a worldwide engagement pod. The point is that these algorithms figure out that when there's a lot of engagement around one hashtag, so then it, all together we could push it up. We can have hundreds of thousands of views, maybe even more. And if we do this, it will be tremendously effective in getting way past 10,000 signatures by tomorrow. So here's what you do. LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. You could do one, you could do two, you could do three, you could do four. Say the reason why you think that Amazon should shut the ASIN, not the seller, when they get one right on a complaint and you're an established business. Put the link to the petition. And then, very important, check that hashtag and like and comment other people's posts that have that hashtag. You can also tag people who you know are Amazon sellers. So again, tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern, please update your WhatsApp status to important Amazon sellers. Please sign this petition. And then an engagement pod where everybody at 5 o'clock Eastern says, um, say, say the reason why Respectfully, everything should be extremely respectful and let people disagree. I still haven't heard one counter argument to my present. <laughs> Not even one. Somebody please disagree. And um, 
and what and and just just post um, why you feel it's important for Amazon to shut the ace and not to sell. You have to hashtag that, or you're going to be out of the loop. And you can do that on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and or Twitter. Thank you. And I think the next one is probably going to be that it's over. I'll, I'll decide where where we're holding. Um, but this is definitely not going to go on forever, and you definitely, definitely need to want to and have to work with Amazon. Thank you.